Hey guys, Clint here from the Final Shot Saloon Podcast, and this is the Bonds Derringer Review. So, real quickly, uh, some details on the Snake Slayer 4. Four and a quarter inch barrel, 23 and a half ounces, six and a quarter inches long, four and five sixteen sixteenths inches tall, and it accepts the three inch or two and a half inch 410 shot shell or the 45 Colt. I only shot um, four tens through it I, in this video. Did not shoot a 45, but here's some. Uh, this is kind of my little overview of the gun. This is your barrel um, release, so you can unload and load. And real quick, <clears throat> sorry for my voice, but what they suggest is push it all the way down and when it comes up you turn the gun keep the barrels pointed down range like that manual ejector um, load your shells and then click it barrels down range and then just turn it right back over this should be unsafe sorry but this safety is it really blocks the way um, you can see it right there it really does do what it's supposed to um, this has what's called a rebounding hammer it has the trigger has to um, be pulled so if you drop it on the hammer it's not it's not going to go off you actually have to squeeze this trigger speaking of the trigger you'll see in the video that I'm I'm kind of struggling that is because the trigger goes down not back like a like most guns I guess you could say or up but this one actually goes down um, another kind of let's start here the sights are for the bottom barrel so when you're lining up you want that bottom barrel to go off first then aim under the target and then you'll you'll hit it with the top barrel so how do I select it is there a selector no nope. see this little thing right there that right there is your bottom barrel that's what's gonna fire that is your top barrel so they say what you want to do is you want to see that lower it because now you're going to be when you cock it back it's going to fire that bottom barrel so good little tip there um, one other thing is uh, this one allen head here you can change your barrels out to the two and a half inch or any different caliber it's just that screw you can take the the um, trigger guard off with just one screw and then you can get kind of that western look I'm going to use their their brochure and then you can have the western look which probably will happen um, I probably will even get the driving holster for it because it, it is kind of a good gun to have um, a driving or when you're out on on a hike um, one thing I liked about it is if you look at that the uh, grip you really do get all fingers on there because it's extended there got the pinky grip so you can pretty much fire whatever you have to on there or whatever caliber you decide um, and you know I've been going back and forth with this hammer but if you just listen to it it's beefy. Um, it and then one other thing I liked about it is it has a wide hammer, so you can just impl you know get it back there quick if something's coming at you or something. But uh, so yeah, this is the Bonds Derringer Snake Slayer Four. Um, like I said, it it's a uh, it was really fun to shoot. Um, so let's get right down to the. Uh, 
the shooting part of it, huh? All these shots were done at 10 feet. Um, I'm going to do some more testing going out a little farther with probably the PDX-1 to see what happens. Um, first thing you'll see is the uh, 7.5 inch bird shot and then the 2.5 inch triple odd buck which only holds three. And then, whoops, and then you'll see the 3 inch triple odd buck. Um, little demonstration there. That holds five. And then I shot the PDX-1 with these flat discs on there. Just to show you the case discs and then buckshot. And this is a personal defense am ammo and I am assuming because it, go it is going slower that it's so that if you have to use it in a defensive situation it probably won't go through um, the sheetrock and the and the stuff like that and it'll be really slow but uh, you'll see that in the shooting video Thank you.